Uh, I don't know how to do intros anymore. Hey guys, it's Shy. No, sounds so fake. Oh my god. Hey guys, it's Shy, and today I'm gonna be doing a portfolio expert. Ex Oh my god, can you let me do what I need to do? Hi guys, so I've not done YouTube in a while, so I thought I would come back with this video. I could fill you in on what happened in the past like year, but I feel like you know. So, at my last video, I can't even remember what my last video was, I think, was it when I shaved my brows off? Like, the ends of my brows, it wasn't even that dramatic. But a lot of stuff has happened since then, to the point where I have been accepted by Central St. Martins and I wanted to do a what portfolio was accepted by Central St. Martins foundation course, which is what I'm going to be starting in September. Hopefully this video will become, I'm filming this video on the 28th of June, so hopefully it's going to come out in this week. The reason why I'm doing this video is because when I was applying and when I was thinking about applying and everything, I looked on YouTube for so many videos and there's only so many for the foundation courses and I feel like obviously if you're applying to an undergrad course it's so much more different to a foundation one because it's less foundations more mixed. I found like a few when I was like doing it and I found them really helpful so hopefully this video can help someone else too. I did have a lot of help while I was doing my applications. I had a portfolio advisor and I had a friend who was at Central St. Martins as well so this was this was made with their advice too so I was really shocked when I did get in. I was like, what? Yeah, so I applied to four art schools for foundation and I got an offer from each one, but I did a different portfolio for each one. Like obviously loads of works like crossed over that, but this was the exact one. Like I've got my the exact portfolio that I used. So I'm just gonna display the picture or video, whatever it is in this bit of the screen and hopefully it'll be helpful for some people. But yeah, so I'm just gonna stop talking now and start with the portfolio. The first thing in my portfolio, so I'm gonna go in order to like exactly how they would have seen it. So the first thing, I don't know where to look, but it's gonna be here. I've just got my iPad here, just reading off what I put in on the exact portfolio. The first thing I put in was double spread sketchbook page. And I hate my sketchbook. Like I prefer just doing outcomes, like I hate planning and stuff, like I just like to go straight in with stuff I don't really think about it, which is not the best. But this is a double spread that I actually like and this was when I did go to the exhibition, I went like in 2019, it was in Tokyo and I just put all the photos down of where I went, I mean I put all the photos down of the pictures that I took in the gallery and then I put like it says there the Mori Art Museum, that's the museum I went to so I made sure to emphasise that I took these pictures myself. Um, but yeah so those pictures and I've just got some like studies there and yeah nothing amazing but it kind of started my whole theme of molecular biophilia kind of theme. It's a weird theme because I liked it but at the same time I get bored of everything so I tried to like, it was so like overwhelming trying to figure out what to put in but this is what I ended up coming up with. The next page is also another double spread of a sketchbook and this is an artist as well so first artist was Chiara Shiota and then was it Chiara Shiota? I'm not sure how to pronounce her name. And then the next one was Bruce Riley and I really liked all this work, it's all like resin and stuff so I just put that double spread in and there's got a couple of studies there and I really liked my, I think it was a waterfall card, I did this so last minute and I just stuck it in there and when you pull it, it like flops, like you know, like all the things I would show you but it's at school right now. I can't show you my actual sketchbook but yeah so, why am I so out of breath, I've not done a video in so long. Then the next double spread is also a follow up from that. It was just a experimentation page and it's just all the alcohol ink and it was inspired by all the Bruce Riley work because his work's quite flowy and stuff and like all of them annotations were just in my sketchbook. So I kind of, when I was explaining it, I just explained that I was looking for like happy accidents. So yeah, oh my god, I did not realise how much of this artist I put in this portfolio. The third page is also more of his work. I remember when I was doing this portfolio, putting it together, I was scared that this was too much of his work, but you know, worked out. And this is more experimentation and then I took photos of basically my friend was pouring some acrylic paint in the sink, like she was pouring, like not, it was like pour off, so basically she finished using them and she was pouring it out and it was like two cups and then it made those like red and white really cool swirls 
so that I took pictures of them and I also did Procreate designs inspired by them and that's what I put in there so it's all kind of just a random mix of media that's like scumbling on that painting so it's all just different stuff really then this is where it gets a bit all over the place so this is my dress materials so I made a dress out of acrylic pour offs which you'll see in a bit and so that's the sketchbook page that was inspired by the dress materials well what were, was actually used I just had like so much left over so I just put them in so it was just polythene polythene I don't know like it's just like polyester bag paint it's literally just a painter's sheet that I, I ordered like a nine pack off Amazon and then I just put them in I used gold flakes which I also put in and then acrylic paint pour off which I made and then cut out yeah and then next to it is it links in later into the portfolio but I took pictures of biological specimens through a, a microscope and edited them edited the colors and the RGB curves so that's what's next to it but that was a watercolor study of it then the next page next thing in my portfolio is like these were joined together I think they, I was just trying to stick things in as much as I could so the first bit of that is basically this is the structure that I looked at in real life and took photos of it's called Forgotten Streams by Christina Iglesias I think I'm not sure about her name Christina Iglesias I'm not sure but so I just did a study of that and fine liner went over it in watercolor and kind of thought oh, it would look kind of cool as a dress and then I just did them figures just because I wanted to this is the problem like I don't have any plan I just do it and then hope for the best and then the next thing that's beside it is a fashion illustration of myself wearing the dress in the pictures that you'll see in a minute I did that on procreate so yeah it's just fashion illustration really the next images these two images are just photos of me in the dress so I taped this dress on me and then I just got my tripod used a timer because it was so cold I had to take these pictures as fast as I could so then you could kind of see that my hand is behind me in both of these pictures that's because I've got the phone that's clicking the camera shutter so yeah I just had to do that and those are those images then the next photo is also a another sketchbook page and these sketchbook pages are Oh, oh yeah, so this artist is Aldo Tambellini and I went to see his exhibition at the Tate. It's not got a whole exhibition, it's just like a bit of the room. I think it's like one of the ones that are the permanent um, exhibitions on the Tate, I'm not sure. Like in the bit that's not like a pop-up bit, I can't remember. And so I just displayed all the photos there, also re-emphasised that I went to the actual Tate. And then the next page is my own photos, inspired by this artist. I mean, did I do it that way around? No, <laughs> I just coincidentally found the artist after I did the work because that's just what happens and yeah, that's just what happened. Um, so the next slide, I mean the next page is my own photos. So these are the photos that I took through microscopes because um, the biology department in my school was really nice and they let me use these specimens and it was they weren't alive, they were dead, but they were, I mean, I'm sure you'll see a picture of it in a bit, but it says, like it's a glass specimen and I put it under the microscope and I took the picture under the microscope so I was trying to just explain that whole process in that page and then the next page is a contact sheet of all the most of the images I took the edited versions and then the slides and then the next page as well is more of those pictures kind of bigger and more explained so there was the slide, the editing and the um, graph and the unedited version so yeah so that's what I did with all of them so this was kind of all in that microscope biophilia kind of theme oh yeah so the next picture this is also another watercolor study of one of the images that I took I'm pretty sure this was a mosquito work I'm not sure mosquito work or something edited edited and yeah oh yeah this wasn't so that was in watercolor then these next images I did on Procreate, so I did all these necklace designs, body adornment designs inspired by Chiara Shiota because she uses red and black a lot and strings and insulation so I just thought of this um, kind of design and I showed the layers which is why you can see the body adornment and then just the netting kind of bit and then I did different colours and just showed the Chiara Shiota the cell which is that image just kind of to link that in and then the next slide because you can put videos in your portfolio for foundation as well I'm not sure about undergrad because I'm not applied to undergrad but you can put in videos I'm pretty sure you can do it for any portfolio so this was a time lapse of the actual drawing on Procreate and the next picture is just a contact sheet of most of the molecular body adornments that I made so I made these all out of polystyrene balls acrylic paint oil paint watercolor ink spring just literally threw anything on that I used a glass fell in my room and I was like I want to use that so I used hot glue 
glue. Oh yeah, I used hot glue for all of these and I just painted over them. Then the next slide picture bit in my portfolio is me wearing the actual adornment. I just, because it was really easy to break and put it together again, I just broke it at one point to make it go up like here because I put it on here and it went up and then I put string all over my face, got the tripod, did some random makeup, did those images, edited them and yeah those were my experimental photos and then I oh I did some digital ink manipulation so I just did I just looked at the um, adornment that I made, made an observational drawing for on Procreate with ink ink it was an ink pen and then I manipulated it with um, the liquify tool which is why it goes all distorted but yeah that's that then the next part of this portfolio is my design and technology organic form so I had a friend at the school next door and there was a DT lab that we could access so I went there quite a few times a week to create these creations and I used different programs to create different kind of organic biomolecule forms like just basically because I really like science and art and I literally applied to science as well and I've deferred them for next year. I don't know what's going to happen with them. I wanted to fuse the two ideas together, which is why this whole biophilia molecular kind of idea came from. So these are kind of what I'd imagine organic forms to be if I could create them. So I've also got like things that were inspired by them. So those, that, that two kind of thing, that was supposed to be a design for earrings. And when I tried to 3D print it, the 3D printer didn't work. So I just explained all of that. And then I made this whole resin and sort of encapsulated in time thing so yeah but yeah i really like this part of my portfolio because i feel like it looks very planned out i don't know because i'm not a planning out person but this looks like i was thinking about it <laughs> And the next part is of this portfolio is an animation. So this is a, an animation of the sound particle that I actually can't pronounce, so I'm just gonna put the words here. And I just made an animation on Procreate because Procreate has Procreate has been the backbone of my portfolio now thinking about it because I just like to do a lot of stuff on there. And yes, yeah, so I made an animation and I explained about the lizard juice curve. Lizard juice, I can't pronounce that word either, so don't slate me for that. The next Part of my portfolio is life drawing, so I'm pretty sure most portfolios advise at least one because CSM didn't advise for like what they wanted in the portfolio, they just know they wanted 20 slides and they, that's all they give you. You can't give them more than 20 slides, but I'm pretty sure it's like a rule of thumb to use life drawings, I'm not sure. So these are ones that I did in school, and it wasn't like the cliche life drawing where the model's usually nude or something, so it was just someone each week and they'd pose in school, and then all our art class would try and draw them. And then these were life drawings on the tube so I went to London quite a lot to like go to galleries and stuff and I would just observe people on the tube and just quickly draw them on the on my sketch pad and pen and I was explaining in this like bit like how like the adrenaline like makes you draw faster because you don't know when they're gonna get off so it's kind of cool but then it's also scary because you don't want them to think that you're just staring at them creepily and then the next part of my portfolio is life studies so these were all images taken from either my photos or different artists photos and I just paint like just isolated parts of the face and then I have one that was total two I think I'm pretty sure I was inspired by the artist I'm not sure about her name but it's I think her name's rocks hearts on Instagram but yeah that's that part of my portfolio it's all in watercolor so the next part of my portfolio was the self-portrait and life studies so I did a self-portrait um, on top of I made basically like primed this canvas with like an old play book and I just put that on top tea stained it I think I tea stained it pretty sure I tea stained it then went over it with ink graphite watercolor yeah and acrylic paint as well and then next to it I just have this figure drawing that I found the image on Pinterest I'm pretty sure and then I just studied it with charcoal and I did it on toned tan paper. Then the next part of my portfolio is these natural forms drawing that I did like in the beginning of lower six. So I genuinely can't remember, but I remember we looked at different like natural form things like stones and leaves and rocks and shells. And I just did a morph, a morphic. I think it's called morphic, I'm not sure. Where like all the things joined together and then one isolated image too. So that's in ink and colour pencil. Then the next slide is a collagraph printmaking. So this I'm pretty sure was in lower six too. I'm not sure. Yeah, so the last kind of actual like brown, I think it's the last one. I think it will show up here or here. I'm not sure which way it will flip round, but it's, you know, the darkest one where you can see the blue thing. So that was the actual print I made and then all the, no, not the print, sorry, the collagraph. And then the yellow things are the actual print. So I put that in there kind of to tie like the organic sort of stuff in. If I'm not explaining these pieces um, to the extent I could, I'm really sorry. I just, I'm, I'm so out of it today. I don't know why I decided to film today, but I haven't filmed in a while and it takes like motivation in me to be like, oh, I need to film. So 
I'm filming now and I really want to, this is a, a video for another time, but I really want to be more serious about YouTube and because I'm going to be in uni in September, like feel like I'll have more time, hopefully, I don't know. Then the next slide, I really like this slide. So these are all studies of my own from Jessica Baird's images and drawings. So she does fashion illustration. She's one of my favorite fashion illustrators. Like I love her style. So I've just studied all of her work and these drawings in real life will literally be like this size. I don't know. Yeah, you know, I don't have any of my stuff because it's at school. They're literally like that big, so not big. Oh my God, ignore my nails as well. Like that big. So I just joined about six of is that six? Eight. I can do maths. Um, I joined eight of them together and yeah, so these are all in ink, pencil. Oh, most of them in coloured pencil, Prismacolors. Prismacolors, even though they are expensive, they are really worth it. I think I got the 40, I think I got the 48 pack and I got it like four years ago when I've not replaced them. But they do go down quick and I don't use them often, so that might be a factor, but they are really good. And I did them on different colours of papers. Oh, I just coloured the ink. I coloured the background in ink, so yeah. Then these two images were from runways and artists that I'd seen and observed. So the black one is done in purely just ink and some biro, and the second one is done in the coloured one is literally just done in ink and some fine liner. So yeah, those are some fashion illustrations again. And then these two images are I worked into collage. I did I did them really quick. With both of them literally took me five minutes. I just ripped out a piece of magazine and then just went ham like. I don't know what more to say. I just got acrylic paint, different materials that I had in this room and I was just like, oh, I have one with me now actually. I have this one with me. This is what it looks like in your life. So it literally did not take me that much time a lot. But I just scraped acrylic. Again, really please just ignore my nails, they're falling off. But it just, I literally took it out of Vogue and then I placed acrylic, scraped, stuck this cellophane that came from some packaging. But yeah, the next thing in my portfolio was a video time lapse of all the collages I made. Yeah, so all three collages, collages, that's how you say it, collage? I don't know, but all three of them I made that I, yeah, I made, I just did a time lapse, I made sure to film it because I don't know, I feel like I need to prove that I did it myself. I don't know if that's like a weird thing. So yeah, put that in there. The next slide is two of the black and white portraits lockdown portraits I took through FaceTime so I did um, FaceTime photo shoots in lockdown because I like doing photo shoots and I haven't done one in a while actually like a photo shoot but um so I couldn't go out and ask someone to do a shoot because obviously social distancing and stuff so I did lockdown shoots with people from the UK and abroad because I tried to just reach out with people and so these two images are just like blown up images in the slide because the next the next and last slide is a video of the lockdown series that I did in 2020 so this was all from last summer so I did photo shoots with I think it was like 20 people in total I'm not sure so I dedicated like a page or a double page double spread page to um, each person I did a shoot with put their name down and like their off location so the last slide and the second to last slide link because, link because this is just a video of all the shoots that I did over lockdown so the lockdown series and I made a book out of it and I really like the book because I feel like I didn't have anything that presents my work like that and I just put them all in a book and I put the time lapse in and I explained I said Using the images I took over FaceTime and Zoom, I decided to compile them into a book as it showed my flexibility as an artist in terms of not being able to have control as that I usually would have of the final images and the outcome. Although lockdown was not without its difficulties and challenges, I see this book as how I was able to overcome the challenges of lockdown to create work that highlights the irony of being alone and connected through a screen. So yeah, that is my portfolio. <laughs> I'm so out of breath and I don't know why I think it's because I filmed this video in 26 minutes and I think that's pretty fast to film a video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys find it helpful if you're looking for help for foundations and stuff. So I'll give you some like background and what other foundations I applied to. So I applied to only foundations for art and then for three of you classes I applied to biotechnology because I was just finding it really difficult to make a decision. Um, and I've I've decided that I'm definitely going to Central St. Martins because I just don't want to like pass that opportunity up. Uh, so I applied to nine uni I applied to nine unis in total. Yeah, so I applied to Kingston, um, Central St. Martins, Manchester and 
canvas a call in Switzerland for art and I got an offer from each one but I'm like I'm stuck to um, Central St. Martins like I really want to go there and then for biotech I applied to Manchester, um, York, Nottingham, Aberdeen and Glasgow and I've deferred them to, to York and Manchester for next year just in case I don't want to do art after the foundation. I, don't, I genuinely don't know how I feel but I really I haven't focused on just art in a while or I haven't focused on just science so I'm gonna see what happens and I will hopefully be posting what is gonna be happening while I'm doing it and I really hope you guys found this video helpful if you have any questions please don't hesitate to DM me because I would love to help you and yeah if this video seems off or if I seem awkward or whatever or if I come across any weirdly on camera just bear in mind I've not filmed a video in like a year so Hopefully I'll get back into it and yeah, well I want to get back into it because what have I got to do? Well, I've got shit to do but like you know So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the video subscribe like do whatever the hell you want and hope you have a good day Bye